now we can say that ADHD is an evolutionary mismatch too because there's no way in which children in evolutionary times were expected to sit still in a classroom for five to six hours per day um, 200 days per year it's just nothing that evolution prepared children to be able to cope with so there's a real mismatch between the strengths of children with ADHD their tendency to explore they have more of the DRD4 gene as well to challenge to try out new ways of doing things and today's schools where you expect it to sit still pay attention and listen and children with ADHD may have an enhanced performance if they are allowed to learn while moving around and we know that people with ADHD can outperform others in stressful changing conditions that require intense physical activity so for example in the military people with ADHD can do extremely uh, well because they can switch very easily between tasks they don't mind being physically active um, for, for long amounts of time so it's in the right situation ADHD is a strength and an adaptation 